let's say you're in the mood for some pizza. You open a food delivery app, go to your favorite restaurant and pick the pizza with all your favorite toppings. And just like that, a whole process kicks into action until the pizza is delivered hot and fresh right at your doorstep. You open the box and you find out it's not your favorite pizza at all. The toppings are all wrong and even the size is not what you asked for. In scientific parlance, this is what's called an out of specification or OOS event. But who exactly is responsible for this OOS event? Was it the app which showed you an option that just wasn't available? Maybe the restaurant which didn't have what you asked for and instead substituted with something they had. Or maybe it was the delivery boy who gave you someone else's order. You need an OOS investigation to find out. If OOS can happen with pizza delivery, it can surely happen with much larger and more complicated processes like drug development and production. Sometimes the API, in-process samples or even the final product are found to be out of specification when tested. And just as before, the errors causing OOS in the drug industry can lie in many different places. From the quality control analyst who did the testing, to the production team that manufactured it, or even the person who sampled and handed over the samples to QC. To maintain consistent quality of the final drug product, it's crucial that the root cause of OOS be investigated and proper corrective and preventive action or CAPA be put in place to avoid reoccurrence. As important is to follow quality by design principles in drug development and manufacturing processes. So they yield fewer OOS and even if they occur, the root cause can be easily identified. In this module, we'll look at OOS in the pharmaceutical industry. Some frequent ones that we encounter the steps involved in an OOS investigation, and finally, some common CAPA principles that can minimize any future out-of-specification events.